This is Brad Morton with Morton Design Group here to present the Maester Residence in Newport Beach. This is a hardscape uh, makeover and I'm also showing what the potential uh, new home may look like. Uh, again, my interpretation of it based on the architectural elevations and renderings. Uh, of course, that may vary, but uh, we will take a shot at showing you guys what the house could also look like. As we get into the animation here, I'll start off in the front yard and uh, give you a feel for what the front of the house will look like. I'm not showing a gate over here at this point in time, but we'll uh, definitely put that in. Um, I'm showing the new garage doors, what those will look like. Obviously the smooth stucco throughout, uh, the new glass rail, that clean look on the balcony. Uh, I think this front profile may push all the way forward. But uh, based on the original uh, elevations that I was given, this is what I've uh, shown. So that's going to vary. I have some uh, planter strips here in front of each of the uh, garage door uh, columns that will break up the uh, pathway here and add a little bit of uh, visual interest with some nice spiky flax or uh, reeds, grass type reeds. Uh, the hardscape material here, I'll explain in a moment as we get a little bit closer, I can show you what that is and what I'm proposing. Over here on the right, I've got a, uh, a accent tree. This could be a small accent tree, multi-trunk, could be a strawberry tree or birch or a crepe myrtle that I'm showing here, uh, but just a smaller patio type tree. Uh, could even be a Japanese maple. Uh, we've got some floating stepping stones here going up to the front gate. Obviously the front gate would be a uh, glass gate and uh, glass and metal gate, a little bit more contemporary. Obviously the home is going to be going more contemporary. Uh, in this uh, area here surrounding the immediate garage, I have the lineal stack stone that we uh, took a look at on the site. That's that quartzite, it has a nice shimmer to it. I've got black rock proposed for all the planter beds to keep a, a nice low maintenance, clean look. Nice, again, nice flaxes and things like that that'll give uh, kind of that contemporary flair. New mailbox here, offset to the right of the gate, can be cut into the wall. And this is a view into uh, the courtyard as we kind of walk in. I'm proposing that you uh, uh, either paint the existing wood uh, a darker tone, or you go with a, a metal I-beam. be kind of cool to do a, a smaller I-beam to support some new glass um, going up for privacy and for visual interest to create a real neat courtyard effect. Uh, in this image, you can see that uh, the material here has a lineal feel to it. This is actually a uh, running bond uh, modular paver that is uh, about six inches wide and varies in length from uh, 24 to 48 inches long. But uh, it's a modular paver that sits on a uh, sand base. It's two and a half inches thick. And this is a great material for uh, uh, the project, in my opinion, because it uh, has a contemporary feel. It harkens to a uh, wood deck feel also. And uh, I think it'll work real well. So I will show you some literature on that. You guys can decide if uh, that's something you're interested in. Uh, first thing you'll notice here is probably the uh, steps going up. I've got a slab set of steps that go up and they extend back and cantilever out. So it gives the illusion that these uh, are uh, getting larger and that they are sitting on top of another uh, one another, which is kind of cool. In this back corner here, I have a uh, reflective uh, vase or urn that spills over on itself and that water uh, will spill down the sides of the vase into the rocks below and into a uh, hidden basin. Got a lot of vertical bamboo in the planters uh, behind the uh, areas here. I've got a nice sectional couch out here that would be uh, uh, make this area much more usable than it currently is. And again here are these concrete steps that go up and uh, have a, a rhythm going up as they get wider. And then you can see here the floating stepping pads that are offset by uh, the six inches as they make their way over to the gate. Again, this is a uh, proposed new uh, glass atrium area. And uh, the, same, uh, the same idea is in play here where we're trying to hide uh, the neighbor's home, create a private uh, kind of weatherproof feel in there, at least windproof. and. Um, really create uh, 
an entryway before we actually get into the uh, the main part of the house. And moving into the backyard, I'll explain some of the items that uh, I've come up with here. Of course, you'll notice the house first and foremost, probably. Um, the new look, we've got the glass rail, uh, the smooth stucco, and it's just a cleaner look. I've got a, uh, a fun little I-beam here on the edge of the house. It would be fun to support this with. I don't know if that's something that, uh, that uh, would actually happen, but I thought I would just show it. Um, you'll see the glass rail here at the edge of the bulkhead and um, the seawall here I should say and a loose arrangement of furniture uh, sectional here with a uh, fireplace or a fire pit I should say um, prefab this would all be uh, movable I thought it'd be kind of neat to have an ottoman with a, uh, a fire pit inside to uh, create some warmth uh, just showing scale of the upper deck here, we have a couple chaises, uh, table out here, a couple chaises here, and then in this design, I've gone ahead and uh, shown a uh, a gunite spa, and all of the uh, goodies that uh, come along with being able to work in gunite and masonry. Of course, if this is uh, not working in the budget, this would be downgraded to a prefab spa that would sit in the uh, same general area. And this is just a rough view out onto the harbor there. Just giving you a feel for what the, uh, the yard would, would look like. View back here towards the, uh, the spa. Uh, what you'll notice here is I'm proposing a, a kind of an extended uh, seating surface off of the house that would uh, come off at the height of the existing brick. This would all be the new stone get a new uh, concrete cap on it and uh, you could throw some pillows on there and that would be a great place to put towels as well for the use of the spa. Uh, view back on to the barbecue. Got a couple of privacy planners here. Not that you'll create much privacy but a couple buffers here on the left and right of the queue and then this zigzags and diminishes back until we get to the side of the uh, house here. Here's another view of the spa area without the uh, chaise lounges there in front. You can see that stack stone accent here, the uh, concrete seat cap, a couple pillows back there, and uh, the spa here is a raised spa. It's 18 inches tall, same height as the uh, seat uh, bench here. This is a uh, infinity spa on three sides, so it spills down the tile all the way around into a uh, trough. We have a uh, nice waterfall feature here coming into the spa and then this wall here emanates out from the uh, actual edge of the house at the same plane and it'll be a uh, smooth stucco finish just creates a very clean look and uh, kind of cleans up that left edge of the property and then of course this would all be a reflective edge and so as you're inside the house looking out you would uh, see the water of the bay directly behind it and it would give you that uh, infinity mirrored look. So just a very clean look, very contemporary, and uh, very shishi, very cool I think. Uh, back behind here we have some uh, access uh, stepping pads if you choose. I don't know if there'll be much access going along here. I don't think there's really a need to. So those could probably come back out. Uh, the existing queen palm is here and that would remain or the existing cocoa palm, I should say. The existing queen palm is about here and that will be removed. So that is my first attempt at the design. I uh, thank you for your time and I look forward to your feedback.